What you're looking at is Soundtrap for Education. Um, this is a demo that I've pulled up, a pop song, and um, students can be invited in to manipulate different demos. They can create their own tunes. They can mix and remix, download um, songs um, from the internet and pop them in and remix them. It's a really cool application. Um, you can see there are uh, instruments on this left side. So we've got a drum, shakers, keyboard, acoustic guitars with little icons that show you what they are as well. These are, have all been pre-input with effects and everything. Now you've got a volume control here. You can you know increase or decrease your volume, solo out, um, so and just hear one part at a time. You can mute um, and uh, you can actually come over here and cut and paste do loops, um, increase or decrease the volume. It's, it's a really great application. And what I love about it so much is that it really levels the playing field between my musical and non-musical students. Um, you can record using actual instruments or you can use MIDI instruments. And um, there's a lot of pre-recorded MIDI instruments that kids can cut and paste and actually make their own melodies, counter melodies, rhythms, and create um, wonderful music without having to have the same skill level as their musical peers. So um, I'm going to pop down here and click play so you can kind of hear the sound quality on this. Um, and hopefully it gets you a good idea of what Soundtrap does. One. Now I'll solo out so you can see how that sounds. See how that works. Lastly, uh, I just want to um, say that Soundtrap is not just for music. Um, you can actually do podcasts. There are teachers using it for um, sciences and um, language learning. It's really uh, a very powerful application that has a lot of uses. So um, I really encourage you guys to check it out, see what you think about it. You might actually find that it's very useful for your own classes. Um, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what Soundtrap um, does and why I chose it for my project. Thanks!